your battery starts to hear. Uh, for the next video tonight, I've decided to do a flip cup with, uh, for that embellishment right there, probably. Um, and in this cup is Master's Touch White, Master's Touch Black, Master's Touch Scarlet Red, uh, Arteza Silver, and Liquitex Gold. And let's just get started. I got four cups. They've all got silicone added. My canvas is taped on the back and spritzed with water to tighten it. And I use that big tape. Um, you know, that big blue painter's tape. I use the big kind because I can fold it down around the edges underneath. And um, it works really good. And I put my silicone in each cup as well as in these cups before I pour my paints in there because, number one, um, I think it helps with making cells uh, more silicone. I don't see a problem with putting more silicone in. And I've seen that done somewhere. Um, and it also makes it real easy to see when all your paint is run down because of the repulsion between the silicone and the paint. So I think it helps. It's a good idea. Uh-oh. Not good. Well, some of that one. They're all wanting to pour out right there at the front. I guess that's because there's not that much paint in there. I didn't pour. I didn't over paint this time. I usually... That'll be enough, you know, but it's not like too much. I usually put a little bit too much so I can be really choosy about what I want to keep and what I want to pour off. All right, I think that's going to look real good with that embellishment. Let's see here. This canvas covered and see what happens. Come on to this side first. I like to catch it with my hands over there so I can keep as much paint as I can on the canvas until I get ready to pour it off. Got that corner. I believe. I'm gonna go get this bottom one now. I still tilt fast. I try to tilt slower. I just get excited, I guess. Ready to see what it's going to be like. I'll let some of that white pour off there. I don't want to take much white. smear that white line that's in the middle a little bit. It's kind of um, too stark. It's not going to smear too much though. I'm going to have to do it with my hand. I know y'all can't see when I do that, but um, I have to do that for a minute. Okay, I give up on smearing the white line any other way. I'm just going to have to do it with my finger. It's a, a stick or something. I'm going to get a stick. That line is just a little bit too... Um, too stark running through that middle like that. I don't know why it didn't break up more than that. But I can fix that. Now, that's better. That's pretty.
I'm just kind of moving the paint back and forth a little bit to try to um, make that blend a little better. I'm not really pouring anything off. I'm just wanting it to kind of mix up a little bit more. And that's making it cool. I like that. Yeah, that's much better. That, that line was just too stark in the middle of there. I didn't like it. I like that. That looks good. Let's torch it. I love the way that white does when you torch it. It always laces around. It's really pretty. Okay. And I love the cells in this one. It's really pretty. Up close. I don't know if y'all can see. I'll show you in a minute. If I can keep from punching the wrong button and disconnecting the video, I did that earlier. Cut off the end of one of them. I was trying to show y'all up close and I punched the wrong button. Um, I'll show that piece on the next video. Ooh, this is turning out really cool. I like it. Yeah, I can put this like right down that white line and I think that'll look real pretty. Let me show y'all up close. And I'll show you the last two that I did that I'm dry yet. But um, this is the swipe that I did just a minute ago. And this is the one that got cut off. Um, but I have showed it up close since then. So I don't need to go over that again. But this, I think, is beautiful. Um, let me show you up close. I'm out of my art, uh, Deco Art 24 karat gold, but this Liquitex did a good job. I'm happy with that. I I usually use my Deco Art as my go-to gold, but um, that Liquitex looks really pretty in there. It did a good job. See that neat stuff going on down there? I think that's pretty. Well, I appreciate y'all joining me tonight. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you're interested, I have a whole bunch more content on there. Some more pours and some resin art and stained glass videos, if you're interested in that. And um, I really do appreciate uh, the comments and especially likes and subscribes. That means a lot, especially when you're new like I am. So thank you for watching and being here with me. And uh, check out my other stuff if you feel like it. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your night. And we'll see you next time. Alrighty. Oh, I took you off before I said bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>